Um, I think it's been great. I mean, me and Gio are really close. We're cool on the cool, close off the field. Uh, and so I think that it's been good. I mean, I think that we have, we do a lot of things similar, but I think that we have some differences in our game as well. They just sort of uh, complement the offense and are going to make sure that the defense is sort of have to prepare for two different guys and not just uh, hone in on one of us. How is your experience from Vanderbilt transferring over to here? Um, it's been great so far, honestly. I mean, I think this is a really good, a good program. It's player led. Um, and Coach Herm does a good job of sort of using his NFL background to, um, I guess, prepare us and sort of design the program that he, he wanted to build. And I think that for me, it's been something that I've loved, especially being an older guy who's been in college football for five years. Um, coming somewhere where it's player led and sort of um, a little bit less light on the, um, the physical aspects and more on the mental, I think it's been really good for my body. I've never felt so good coming out of the camp as I have now. So. So uh, the rapport with the wide receiver is obviously a critical part of the passing game. You know, ever since Emory got here over the last couple months, how have you seen him try to develop that chemistry and build that rapport with you guys? Yeah, I think from day one, I mean, whenever I got here, at least Emory was getting extra routes in with the with the receivers, uh, texting us, hey, can you come throw after we got done with workouts? You know, to make sure that we got some throws and things like that. So I think that he was very proactive and it's shown throughout camp. And I think that he'll continue to do that. I mean, he's still, after we get off the field, the first thing he does is come up to me and say, hey, um, this is why I threw it like that. And maybe next time I run like this, or I really liked how you ran that here. So can you continue doing that things like that? So I think that that's been the biggest, the biggest thing for Emory. Have you ever worked with a quarterback that is sort of similar in that regard, that is willing to, you know, take the extra time to gel with his new receiving core and, you know, really get those extra reps? Yeah, I would say um, a lot of quarterbacks have been sort of like that, but I would say Emory's been top-notch as far as how often he's done that. I think that the only other person that's sort of done that um, in my career has been Kyle Shermer, who was played in the NFL for a little bit. Um, when I first got to Vanderbilt, just the way that he was incorporating me into the offense, but um, it's been really awesome to see, and that's how you know that a quarterback's ready to go um, to the next level, so it's been cool. LD uh, called him an encourager. Um, what would be the best word you'd say to describe him? Um, I would say encourager is a good one. I would say also upbeat. I think Embry's always happy to be out there. He's an energy guy. He's always going to give you energy. He's never going to take it away from you. Um, and even when you may when you maybe make a mistake or something, he's always the first one to pick you up. So I would say upbeat, upbeat up, uplifter, things like that. So. Does it help the offensive flow now that you kind of the quarterback? question has been answered officially and just you guys know that this is the guy to, to rally around to the board. You say, what was the beginning part of the question? Sorry. So just not that like the quarterback question is answered if the official announcement's been made, no, you know, no, no speculation anymore. Does it help at all just in preparations knowing that that's the guy to go? To Definitely. I think 100%. I mean, I think that all those quarterbacks do something a little bit different and Emory's probably the most mobile out of those guys. So being able to um, know that, hey, we're going to have to be able to be ready to make plays on the scramble or be blocking downfield because Emory yeah. might um, bust out to the side on a, on a pass play and be ready to take it to the house. I think that's something that's important. And also it helps the line knowing that um, he might be rolling out to the right at some times um, and things like that. And for us, it just allows us to get better chemistry. I mean, we know who the guy is. We know who we need to go to work, work extra with and things like that. So it's, it's um, you can't really explain the impact that it has. There's a lot of different pieces in this wide receiver group. What do you think is the biggest strength that you bring and, and you're going to showcase? Um, I think that one is I'm usually, I like to say that I'm going to always be in the right spot at the right time for the most part. Um, just sort of understanding the game and sort of being able to read coverages after being in, the, in, in college football for so long, things like that. I think that that's something that I bring. And I think also just the ability to make a play after the catch is something that hasn't got to be shown as much because we don't do as much tackling here. So it's a lot, a lot of tag off. And so you never really know if that tackle is made. But I think once the season starts, it's something I'll just showcase a little bit more. I don't know how it'll be what adjustments seem to make as a from wide uh, receiver's perspective? Knowing that yeah, Emory's a guy with that mobility that he likes to use his legs to extend plays, not necessarily kind of, you know, take off and run as soon as he feels pressure, but to extend extend plays, buy more time. How does that, like, impact you in terms of just, you know, your routes and how you, you kind of react to it? I think as far as routes, you, you still approach your route the same way. I think that what the biggest thing is, whereas you see a, a pocket passer, you're more – um, just focus on the route. When you have Emory back there, you're knowing that if he gets pressure, he could be rolling out at any point in time, and you've got to be sort of able to adjust to that. You've also got to look at wherever the receivers are because you don't want to stack those guys. So just sort of awareness of where um, the other receivers are and awareness of knowing when Emory's going to um, sort of break out of the pocket. you think some of these DPs you're going up against or have been a little bit surprised about how high you can get up like on those, on those jump balls? You said what? You 
uh, just on those jump balls, right? Like, do you think some of these DBs are a little bit surprised about how how much of your bunnies, you know, can impact oh, that? Definitely, I think that um, sometimes people don't don't know that I can jump a little bit high, um, <laughs> but that's probably the best the best part of my athleticism is the ability to jump, so or my quickness. So yeah. I think that they've definitely been a little bit surprised, but I'm sure that they'll get used to it and uh, be ready to try and contest it even better come soon. Yeah. What have you shared with um, the uh, you know other receivers in the room? But your experience that you've had in college football, anything particular that you've shared with them? Um, I think that a lot of it's just been sort of some game experiences, things that um, I've seen over my time. Maybe um, how we beat coverages in the past, maybe ways to ident identify coverages, things like that. It's, it's not necessarily just things about the offense because that's harder for me to assert myself when I'm trying to learn it and get used to it myself. But I think that there are certain things of the game that never change that maybe some guys without game experience or the younger guys might not have ever experienced that I'm still able to um, Part that was on them. Just talking to Coach Wade, obviously you guys receivers should want the ball. I mean, with this, looking how this running game can be, and keep, keep, you said keeping you guys engaged. How big is that for you, especially with the running backs you have, to make sure that you're engaged out there on the perimeter as a group? Definitely, I think that that's something that's so underrated as a receiver. Um, Jordan Matthews actually told me he's played for the NFL for a while. Um, the first thing he told me whenever we met was just that the run game gets the pass game going. So. For one, if, if we're coming off the ball in the run game, the same way that we're coming off in the pass game, it's gonna make it so much easier for us to get up because that DB never knows if, um, if he's gonna be getting a run or a pass. Um, and then I think also, a lot of fans don't necessarily realize sometimes that a lot of the big big runs you see are because the receivers are blocking downfield. So we know that, we know that we wanna be part of big plays, whether it's um, getting the ball or away from the ball. And so the ability to run block is something that, um, the impact it can't it can't be just putting the words on okay. And when you're saying obviously I mean I know you're supposed to be blogging for him, but I mean some of the any runs that uh, Daniel or X have made just kinda even left you a little surprised in like cuts they've made or anything so far in camp. Definitely. I think both of them are just their ability to make cuts and just sort of read the holes has been something that's been really impressive to me. I think we got two really good running backs that are gonna be able to um, make life easier on the offense and make life easier on us. So I'm excited to see him um, game one. Collectively, the secondary has a lot of length, a lot of guys who can real, uh, make the passing windows a little tighter. Well, going up against those guys day in, day out, how does that really kind of help elevate your game and perhaps the wide receivers in general? Um, I think that it, I think that for one, the DBs have, um, they're, they're really versatile as far as they got a lot of guys with length, they got some guys with speed, and I think going up against that day in and day out gives us different looks every single day, which is so important. I mean, uh, you're never going to go up into to the, the season and play a fast DB every single week. You're never going to go and play a lengthy DB every single week. But if you have guys who can do all of that, being able to practice against that every day, we're never going to be surprised. Um, we've sort of, I mean, we don't necessarily scout our own guys, but we say, hey, this guy's tall and he's got long arms, so these are the best releases against him, or this guy's quicker, so this is what you should do. And I think when you do that, that especially in camp, now we go into the season, we're already loaded with those tools. Um, and that's what's so great about Coach Wade, sort of the wisdom to, to give us. I feel like we're just a lot of guys that's young.